What is going on guys? My name is Mark. Welcome back to the channel. Video number two, baby. We're going to try and keep these consistent, keep the quality up high. You guys had really awesome stuff to say on the last video and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So without further ado, let's get into it. Do you need a 3D printer? Short answer is yes. Thank you for coming. Like, comment, subscribe. Smell you later. Just kidding. First off, what is a 3D printer? It's basically an ultra accurate hot glue gun that allows you to build objects layer by layer. So how do you get started and what are you going to need? Well, as you might imagine, you're probably going to need a 3D printer. There's a lot of them to choose from companies like Bamboo, Creality, Elegoo. They're all really great. I would do your research. I did a video on my Bamboo X1C and made a couple of recommendations in there. Feel free to watch it, but you need to know what type of printer you want to get. There are two main types of 3D printers. There's a few more, but the ones that I'm going to focus on are an FDM printer. It uses a bunch of different plastics. You can use PLA, PETG, carbon fiber infused filaments, and so much more. The quality and detail is really, really awesome. And I personally think this is the one to go for. The other option would be a resin 3D printer. I've personally not used one of these. I don't really think it's worth it unless you're making figurines or anything that really require an insane amount of detail. With the resin 3D printer, to me, there's a couple of too many caveats, including obviously material. You can only use resin in these printers and it gives off a lot of fumes, not the safest for your health. And I personally think that the quality that you're going to get on an FDM printer is going to be really good enough for 99.9% .9 of people out there, unless you're making figurines or absolutely tiny objects that require more detail. Number two, you're going to need a slicer. What is a slicer? Well, it's a piece of software that normally comes bundled with your 3D printer where they suggest which slicer to use. And that's basically a piece of software that tells the 3D printer how to build that object layer by layer. Number three, you're going to need some models, baby. Where do you get them? Thingiverse.com, Thangs.com, Printables. There's a whole bunch of websites. I'll leave some links below for my favorites. There's thousands and thousands of models. Almost anything you can think of, someone else has probably already made, and it's probably available for free. So in my opinion, that's the best way to start. Get a 3D printer, get your slicer, get some objects, start having fun and getting into the process. If you want to kick things up to another level, start to learn how to design in 3D. I know it's daunting. I know it sucks to learn. The learning curve is not easy, but at the same time, it's so worth it. There is nothing cooler than making your own objects, seeing them come to life and being able to use them. Also, after I learned how to make my own objects, I've actually gotten commission pieces. So a lot of people have actually asked me to make objects for them, and I have, and it's helping to pay back for my printer. Nice. So why are 3D printers so useful and what have I personally made with them? Some of my favorites, I made these really awesome drawer organizers. My girlfriend loves them, keeps everything super organized in there without sliding around. Hooks, hooks for everything. I made tool mounts so that I can make sure all of my tools are securely stored and up and out of the way. Also make electronic accessories, this cable holder for my phone charger, a quick release for my drone, some household items like this laptop stand measuring tools, outside light mounts, this dog poop dispenser. This thing has saved me so many times. It's so awesome. I've made trash cans for outside, this spice rack, everything. I mean, there are so many different items that I've made, but you got to get into it. You got to go on thingiverse.com. You got to get yourself a printer and you got to explore it for yourself because once you do, I'm telling you, you're going to absolutely love it. Now, there's a lot of arguments against 3D printers. Why do you need it? Why can't you just buy that piece off of Amazon, go online, find it, it might be cheaper. Well, a lot of the times that's the case, but a lot of the times that's not the case. A lot of the products that I really like are functional type of items and a lot of them aren't available in stores. For example, this quick release for my DJI Avada. Nobody made anything like it. I went in, took someone else's design, modified a few things, and boom, Bob's your auntie. Marky's got a new drone mount. The other thing is most objects print quicker than I could even order it from Amazon and actually cost me less. Who would have thunk it? Let's get into some of the cons. Problems with 3D printers? Well, yeah, there's a learning curve. There's always going to be a learning curve with new things. To me, totally worth it. It's just amazing to be able to make your own things, design your own items, and have them just a couple of hours later in your hand to hold. Sick. So the next time someone asks, do you really need a 3D printer? Show them this video. It's not really going to help your case. A lot of people still think it's silly. I personally think it is worth every penny and then some. I just love to be able to make things when I want them, let my imagination run wild and come up with new products and have some fun while I'm at it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like the video, it really helps me a lot. Go ahead, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.